How's it going guys? What's up again? We're gonna go ahead and do a how-to for Quinn because I was suggested to do Quinn. Let's begin with the, you know, same simple items we don't want to get and head to our lane. We're gonna go my build for Quinn, so I'm just gonna show you how she plays with her Q, her WER, as well as her passive for Veller. And then I'm gonna show you pretty much the simple stuff. And after I show you that simple stuff, that will be enough for the video. So please uh, share, subscribe, do everything you need to do, but do not forget to give me a suggestion of who I should play next. If there are views, please subscribe so you can see more of my videos. And of course, if you subscribe to more of my videos, you can suggest more of my videos. We keep the cycle going because I will not stop as long as I will keep getting names. I live behind enemy lines. Find me a path. Of course, you're passive comes up every uh what seven seconds or whatever it's, i'll show you again when it comes back up it's going to target an enemy and then when it targets an enemy it does extra damage pretty much based on my attack so it comes back every few seconds and of course every level it goes down by a little bit let's see how much it's going to take off her boom it's supposed to one hit now where it just takes basic you know auto attack hit my Veiler allows me to not only, you know, penetrate further, but also be more aggressive as well. And if, of course, now that I have my W, it gives me more attacks if you want to hit a monster or hit enemy that's been, you know, hit with Veiler. Next up is our E. I'll show you what that does in a second. Notice how, again, my passive allows me to use it every so, every so often. It's going to target an enemy. As soon as it targets an enemy. Targets, hit, and it's using another one. By jumping with your E, it does a little bit of damage by itself. But then it also allows me to use my passive immediately without having a cooldown. So I can essentially do that double time. As well as basic attack, and not only that, but when I use my E, it knocks them up in the air for a little bit of a time, for like a second maybe, and then it also pushes them back, well, you know, this is where they are. It slows the enemy down, and it puts me in auto attack range. So I can just attack them right again, right afterwards. See? Without even having to click anything. Of course, as you saw me use my Q does damage, but it also blinds the enemy for about two seconds. And of course, just like, you know, Ash, she has a, an area to see for free when she uses her uh, her W. Keep in mind that when you use your E, it does kill your passive, so you will have to wait a little bit longer again. In range. Beautifully easy, just like that. Quinn can be a very aggressive character. She goes not only mid, well, not only bot, but she can go mid because of her range, and she can also go top. So when somebody tries to gank her, just hop off the enemy and then walk run, because it slows them down and you get more speed and distance. Plus it's like, you know, they don't see it coming because it's just so quick. And just like in Season 1 Ash, you can use mid with Ash because every 60 seconds or so, you get Hawkeye back, which allows you to see a range of area without using a ward. So you get one ward in the Hawkeye every so often, and then you can, you know, you can have vision, easily. So what I would normally go for her first, if I'm going top lane, I would always start with, uh, 
Where are you? Frozen Mallet. Simply because... No, not that. Simply because there are people out there that will always try to get Thornmail first. I mean, but, you know, that's okay with them because it's Thornmail, so it, it counters me. But, of course, Thornmail does nothing to you if you have health or penetration. So with her, her biggest asset from, for her is attack speed and damage. So, with a little bit of damage, I'll make sure that they won't be able to run away from me. And of course, if you haven't noticed by now, my Q does uh, splash damage. Now I'm using my ulti, turns into Viler. Q instead now does a range shot. Her E does a dash towards your enemy. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then also her W, it still does range, but if you don't have it, if you're not using it, you know, actively, it doesn't have its passive where it gives you movement, no, not movement, but attack speed. So just keep using that and you just keep on attacking and nothing can stop you. Of course, your Q does blind and splash damage, so it allows you to hit multiple enemies with your E, go in, and then smack them all around with your Q. After a few seconds, your ult press activates again, or you can activate yourself where you can actually allow it to hit every enemy with max damage. But then again, Quinn is my favorite, you know, ADC type character, so... She's my favorite character, honestly, for ADC. Next to Urgot, she's my favorite, you know. Because I like characters that are not normally used, as opposed to like Jinx and Vayne and Caitlyn and, you know, Lucian. They're so overplayed that it gets boring. Luckily for me, I have a blind, and my blind stops all the ADCs. And then my E allows me to jump in and jump out so that if a support hits me, oh no, support's aggroing me, let me push away. And then that's pretty much it, I'm safe. And, and like everybody else builds that Infinity's Edge first, I, I just can't do that. That is too boring. It's like you don't know how to play if you just keep doing what everybody else does. And the good thing about her is she wastes absolutely no mod for muscle skills. So all I gotta do is get like one, let's say, a Sheen and you're set for the rest of the game. Oh, she's gone. I'll head back to base and then I'll go top. No, I'll go bot. That's faster. Also notice that her movement speed is exponentially increased. So from 365 to 557. And as you can see it lasts for about a good 20 seconds or so. So it gives me enough time to get in, attack them, and then let my auto do the rest of the work. And then I Q, or my E then Q and then you know auto attack. And then Q. Yeah, Quinn is a very fun character. I love her, honestly. It's just... She has it all that I love. She has it all. Plus, she has a boss skin. Which she's not super revealing, like all these other champions. I, I don't like playing, you know... Let's just call it what it is. Let's just call it fan service champions. I, I can't stand fan service champions. Both items. Awesome! One there, one there. Next up, Static Shift. So that way, now that I permanently slow them for every attack, 
as he gets that ship and then shock everybody in the way. You usually want to go top. I usually have you know my Darius runes where I get defense and magic resist, so that it leads me to be a little bit more tanky than anybody else, and I can just protect myself more. So let me show you how fast I can cart this, even though he has you know he's cart this and he has no defensive stats. So. I'm really slow, but so are you. Hey Ash, I got Frost Arrow too. And just like that, Quinn is already fed. Bot get this double kill real quick. Yeah, much damage, much more damage. Let's transform. Let's get it in. Oh, oh grace. Now I still have enough time to get to her. Two, one, got the cube and all two. I actually almost have enough force, so I'm gonna get a level more. Oh, shield. Nope. This is having it. I don't think I have enough mana, but I'll make it work. I am Quinn! Here we roar! I would say that the only problem that Quinn has for me is the fact that she doesn't stay melee for long. Which means she doesn't stay in your face. I love being in your face with Valor. If I was in your face for even more, ouch. Stop hitting y'all. Like, jeez. It's gay. But again, like she doesn't stay in Valor for a long time, so I can't even build a Ravenous Hydra. Which would have been a beautiful item for her. Wait for Shin to ult me. That's all I really care about. I guess Shin is one ulting me. There he goes. Yeah, I, don't, I don't care, but I got it. And I got my shield. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Alright, now that I'm back, we can just build more items. I have my shiv and I have my frozen mallet. Now we go for let's. No. Mr. Vets. I'm gonna get a blue buff real quick. Also, I should start getting my vampire acceptor so I can get my uh, life steal. But either way, I'm okay with that. Okay, maybe that's smart of me. Let's get 
red buff too, so more damage can come out. No, oh, it hurts. Haha, uh -huh, you don't hit me. Ooh, minions. Yummy. Okay. I'll get Sheen. No, no, I'll get a. Uh, get Phage so I can get more movement speed when I hit and more health. Uh, should be close enough to getting after this. Just time to die in about two hits, maybe. Or three hits, whenever I'm not right. Incoming! I'll get something else at the same time. That way, I don't get hurt so much. Now, I'll go ahead and start my... Let the stir. Actually, no. I just go for a... Yeah, the Essence Reaver, because it gives me cooldown. And when you have Sheen, why not use cooldown? Here, I found my MC in a month. Yay, Quinn is fun. Alright, I have enough for one item. We take this tower, I should have enough both. For another item. Next up, be a sword. After I get the BF sword, I get a phage. No, 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 I'm sorry. As a Zephyr. And just like that, she follows anybody that jumps and dashes and everything else. Makes her very broken against like a Lee Sin or something because, like, oh, I'm trying to run. Nope, no effect. No effect. Just like Maokai. His grab follows anybody. Carthage, you're dead. Oh, you like You're still there, so I'm gonna get you real quick. Alright, 
with the 200. Awesome. Yeah. Get at me. Get at me, son. Okay, I almost have enough for it. Sweet. 2400. Did I mention that I love Quinn? So we got enough for it now. Let's get dragon as well, real quick. Filler, hit him, you hit him, shoot crocs, and yeah, buddy. Wow, okay. But I mean, that's, that's that's the main reason I love her. She's just she's just her. We got this first. Then I get to be a sword and everything next. I want more attack speed, really. Which was more than twenty seconds. But then again, it was more than twenty seconds before. So. in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, two, yeah. What you got, crap? Let me go on and see who's next. It's like, if I could use, you know, if I could just use Ravenous Hydra, I'd be so happy right there. Fuck you. Still slow, gotcha. Still slow, gotcha. I love being tanky. I love being tanky. Oh no, top tower may be gone. Oh, whatever. Oh, the bots. Got an ulti back, and I'm about to kill this guy. Okay, time to buy. And then, of course, I'll show you how that one kill works. Or how it looks, how fast it works. And then I can, you know, go ahead and end the video there. I'm like catching my prey. I'll show you how fast I can kill my enemy real quick. As soon as I get rid of top. Where that bird is just showing up. Uh, 
Alright, time to go back mid and get my last kills. Next up, those guys. I'll be there within a few seconds. You. Yeah, quick could be some quick could be something else. I'm gonna end the video here. It was fun. Uh please don't forget to subscribe if you if you haven't subscribed already. If you're new to my videos or channel, please give me a heads up and say what I can improve on, what you can make me do better with. Or you know, if you just like my videos, give me a like or comment. Till then, I say see ya!